Hey, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm gonna update you on Glenn Woosley's Jaguar project and why we use certain components. We're getting a lot of questions. Number one question is why did we take out the V12 and put in a Chevy V8? Well, this is an LS3 and we've got a 4L65E transmission. With the original V12 transmission and motor, switching those out were 600 pounds lighter, but the original motor was only 240 horsepower. We've got 525 horsepower. And I don't know if you've ever driven a little Honda or something that when you're in it, it feels like a pretty uh, peppy little car. But if you put three of your big friends that weigh 200 pounds a piece and go to lunch, you've got a little uh, car that's not really performing well. You pull 600 pounds out of this car and add over 300 horsepower, this thing's gonna be a rocket ship and a blast to drive. Glenn is gonna have a really cool car. So to me, a hot rod is all about performance. Glenn's got a hot rod now. You know, one of the reasons that we started with the 74 is the fact that you can pick up a 74 for next to nothing. If you started with a Series 1 to build this car, people would want to cut our heads off. A Series 1 is going to sell for about 300000 to get a real nice one. We wanted to start with a nice car, start with a 74, and make those few little changes. The paint is going to be a beautiful warm gray with a slight green tint to it. You know, when I think of Jaguar, I think green, British racing green but it's not gonna be British Racing Green. It's gonna be a Foose Design Green that's gonna work with this car. The interior, we've designed and built a new dash. We're making the interior look like it's still an elegant early Jaguar, but it's much more elegant than the original with the dash flowing into the doors. That uh, top uh, dash cover is gonna be wrapped in leather. So we're gonna blend some beautiful leather paint and uh, carpet and all the other details that we need to get finish that interior with the Smith gauges. It's just gonna look like, this is what it should have looked like when it came from the factory. Tail light design is just a smaller version of what the headlights are. That's why I designed it the way it is. The headlights are a glass cover. They've got a little bit of a chrome trim around it, much more elegant than the original chrome trim that went around with a big bolt that went through. Now the 74 didn't have the lens over it. We're making this look like an earlier version that had that lens with a much more petite, more elegant molding. Did the same thing in the rear, just taking that same shape and microing it, putting it in the back. Another question you've had is why use the brass to build all the trim? Well, the brass is softer than steel. It's nicer than aluminum. You can finish it, polish it, and it chromes beautifully. It's something that my dad taught me back in the 80s. He used to do it back in the 50s and the 60s, but the chrome works fantastic for building all the moldings and the details that you want to do. The A-pillars, Johnny has built this all out of solid steel. It's welded together, but it's got a little half inch step. And uh, Eddie Cotto has been building the windshield, so that'll get glued in there and the brass will cover that up. And uh, you know, it's not gonna be a car that's gonna smack you in the face on how wild it is. It's gonna smack you in the face because it's so elegant.
dude, uh, because we're to golf my mom, but it'll be like, Nigel, do the pokey guys. Which, uh, pokey means beautiful in Tagalog, so I feel like. <laughs> you got that? 